Hi everyone, Harris here with iDownload Blog, and this is iPad OS, the new software for the iPad. Essentially, it's iOS 13 for the iPad, but that's not the correct branding anymore. This is now iPad OS, the iPad's unique software to try to distinguish it from the iPhone software. Uh, so let's take a look at it. And starting off the bat, it's going to have faster face ID up to 30% faster and you can see what that looks like there wasn't at a great angle uh, so when we go to the home screen we now have the ability to pin your widgets to your home screen so in the notification shade where you could typically go over and you would get your uh, today widget your quick widget uh, you can now pin that to your home screen so you can get access to all of your most used information that you have stored on the side additionally you can have more icons on your home screen now there's that now a new application called Find My, which combines Find My Friends and Find My iPhone. So you can have Find My Friends over here, which I won't show you, uh, but then you have devices and you can see all your devices and where they are. Now this is one app. So there's a big upgrade to multitasking. So if I go into Safari and if I pull over or pull up top notes, you can see what that looks like. But if I want to pull over a different app, let's say we'll go to Pages and pull that over. Both of these apps are now in pullover. Uh, you don't have to choose between one or the other. You can actually rotate through these. And then if you go up, you can see all of the open ones. And that is that is so different and so nice. Now there's some cool features with the Apple Pencil. So if I swipe up from the corner, it will take a screen grab and I can annotate that like that. And I can, of course, go through all of the options and move this around. So I can go through these different options and, of course, highlight and do whatever I need to do. And I can either do just this screen or I can do the full page. And just like what you see on Android um, with the full markup. Now, this will save it as a PDF after. Uh, which would be nice if you could save it as an image, but you could mark up whatever you want to and compare what you need to. And then click done, save PDF to files, and there you go. So now in the notes application, you can actually view all attachments in this nice grid. Um, and you can if I drag this away uh, and you can see all your attachments and you can click on one and then you can view that specific note. So there you have that. Of course, there is dark mode now. So if I go into here and I turn that on, you can see what it looks like with the dark elements. We'll go into settings. Uh, that looks, of course, great, but that is essentially what dark mode will look like. There's also an app expose feature. So if I kind of hold on to an icon in the dock, you can see all windows that are open of that and you can see any other multitasking windows that I would have would also pop up here. Now with macOS Catalina on your Mac, uh, you will be able to actually use this as a secondary display. You'll be able to have continuity between your Mac and your iPad like never before. I don't have that installed yet, but when I do, I will be testing that out. But that is another feature of the iPad with iPad OS. There is a new text editor. And you can see the new highlight mechanism. You don't have to tap and hold and wait. So if I pinch with three fingers, it will copy. And if I do it again, it will cut. And then if I do it outwards, it will paste. And so you have these new gestures just like that. So I can keep pasting and pasting and pasting. And so that is new. And then you can also undo with a three finger swipe just like that and redo. There are changes to files now, so if you plug in a USB drive, you can see that the drive does pop up, and I can access its files. So for this, it's a camera, and so I can access all of these video files just like that. In Safari, there is now a download manager and I download the linked file, you can see that this will go to the new download manager. And of course, it doesn't like the file type, but 
Anyway, you get the point. If we go into something like reminders, you can see that this is now totally redesigned. And you can see a totally new redesigned reminders with today, with scheduled, with all, with flagged. Um, and then you can see your different lists. And this is really simple and elegant. And now you can also type out the context. So you can just type out, remind me to get eggs tomorrow at 7. And then it'll automatically figure out this context keys and get you a nice reminder. So those are the main differences for iPad OS. I will be going more in depth to these individual features at some point soon, uh, but let me know what you think of this and if you have any questions or features you want to see specifically, but thanks for watching.